in this angular application we are working on this form and we are using it to add a new book in this application as of now we are using the template driven approach and so far so many things are working in this form we can add a new book and and we can see the details of that book on this old book space let's go to the code section of this page over here you will see we are using this ng model but now let's say i got a new requirement that i want to display some default values in this form for example i want to display the number of pages as 100 by default similarly this price should be 200 by default how can i do that if i am doing this approach then this scenario will not work to set the default values we have to come up with some different solution and because that value will always be dynamic so we can set the details of dynamic values only in the component file and this ts file should be the only place to add all your logic so let's say over here i'm adding one new property so here i'm writing let's say it is model and the type of this model is book model we have already created one book model class in this application and we are using it as a model you can also create an interface and it is recommended to use the interface and you can use it for the binding purpose okay but anyway we are using the class and it will work here also so what i'm doing over here let's get a new instance of this model class and we can do it over here in this ng on init so here i'm writing this dot model is equals to new book model like this and now over here i can set the default values let's say this dot model dot title is equals to here i want to add this is the default value book let's update one more property so here i'm writing this dot model dot let's say the total pages and these are equal to 100 this is just for the testing purpose now what we have done we have created a new model and we have set some default values over here in this ng on init method if you are getting the default values from some other place for example you are getting it from a service then you can get them over here in this ng on init and once you will get the data then you can set all these values and now we will use the two-way binding over here and with the help of that two-way binding we will get the data and because it is a two-way binding so we can pass the values from this component to html also from html to this component now because we have to work with the two-way binding so we have to make some changes in this ng model and we have to wrap this ng model in a curly braces other than this we have to use one square bracket over here like this so what we have done we are using this ng model in this curly braces and then this square bracket and here you have to provide the name of your property let's say in my case it is model dot title so here what i can pass is model dot title if i go to the browser you will see by default we are having that value in this book input box even if i refresh this page you will see we are getting this value so this is how you can set the default value in your form now let's add all the properties in the two way binding approach and for this author we are having one property author then then we have this number of pages for the number of pages we are having total pages now it is time to work with this price and you already know that for this price we are using one more object so what i can do is i can use this price dot value let's verify the proper name so go over here and we are having this price in this price we are having the value so that is something i will bind over here model dot price dot value let's add the two a binding for these two remaining components as well for this date and for this slide toggle okay over here i can use that and over here i have to pass date dot published on so this is the component that we have over here cool now at the last we are having this slide toggle and here let's use this one also so here i'm having this and here it is model dot is published we have added this two-way binding to all the components that we are using in this form okay let's see what we have on the browser here on the browser we are getting an error and it is saying that cannot read the properties of undefined that is this value so 
the error is coming from this place and why it is coming because at this point the price is undefined and we are using price dot value that is why we are getting this error to avoid it here on this ng on init section we can do this dot model dot price is equals to new and what model we are using over here you will see we are using this price model and because this price model is an interface so we cannot use the new keyword rather we can simply use the value like this and if you want to set the default values then you can do it like 100 or if you want to set some currency as well then let's say it is usd like this now just save all the changes and go back to the browser we have set the default values for three properties first is title number of pages and the price these two are working fine but this third one is not working fine let's figure out what is the problem over here if i go to the html section of this particular component which is this one over here you will notice we are using these values and if you are using the value by using this approach then by default it will be treated as the string value so there are two ways either you can convert this value to the string or you can use the ng4 loop and at that time you can set this value in the number form let's understand how it will work over here on this angular material website let's go to this select option and over here we are having these food here it is and here let's use this concept here for these options i will be using this kind of approach okay so i'm just going to remove all of them and just put it like this and here instead of using this food let's use the prices and let's use only one single price over here price dot price and go to the ts file here you will see that it is a kind of simple list let's copy it and go back to the component file over here let's just paste it like this and here i can use the prices remove this one let's keep any so here let's use 100 second is 200 and third is 300 and over here let's update it so i'm using dollar 100 dollar 200 dollar 300 let's go to the browser this time you will see that in the price section we are getting this 100 why because this time that value property will be treated as a number okay so far everything is good and we are having all three values let's set the default values for this published as well and it is also very simple it is again just a boolean value so i can simply use this dot model dot is published is equals to true now here you can see that everything is working fine let's remove this format because it is not required and this is written over here this time we are using two-way binding so if i go to this component file and over here inside the save method you will notice we are getting the values in this value parameter now i'm going to remove all these things just comment it for now and and let's just pass this dot model nothing else even from the html file let's remove this value we will not pass anything remove this one as well so what we have now we are having a simple form on this form we are having this ng submit button we are calling this save book method and we are not passing anything why because this time we are using two way binding and we will use this model object to get or set the values now if i go to the component file here this is a very simple save book method and we have removed all these things or i can keep just one console.log just to check this dot model value and we don't need all these things because we already have the object of this book model and that is what we need to add a new book in this book service okay let's go to the browser and see if everything is working fine or not so we are having this default values let's append something one two three if you will see that over here we are having this author one automatically where is this coming from okay so let's go to this book model again over here you will see for the author we are appending these two things automatically and this is the reason that we are getting that author over there 
now we don't need it because we were learning it just for a concept so we can simply remove it and let's make it as public because this author will be treated as normal property like this save all the changes go back to the browser type anything in this author and it is working fine now let's add some proper dummy data so here it is dummy author cool let's choose a date as well so here it is like this and just click on the save button so we are having the values over here on this console this is the author this is, is published and here in this price section you will see we are having everything this is published on title total pages all these things if i go to the all book section at the bottom side you will see we are having the current book that we have just added this is how you can use two way binding to show the default values in your form if you do not need to set the default values then you can use that simple approach that we were using earlier only by using that ng model